good run from Inchu. First time with the ball, come away with a try. Holding up, oh, beautifully done. Dylan Collier will score. Penalties now. New start. Judging and scoring. Oh, we're really excited to have three guys commit past the Olympics. Nashu pins the ears back. Nashu with the skip and bend. Nashu has done the Houdini. How did he do that? So Tony, uh, Tony played 60 games out of 60 last year, so that probably sums up where he's at. He's become a really quality young professional. He's really dynamic on the ball um, and off the ball. So his defensive game, his work at the breakdown, his ability to break tackles is a real point of difference for him. So, you know, he was the, the team's player of the year last year. We're really excited. You know, I think he's only really getting started. So the next couple of years, we think he'll grow into, you know, a really world-class hooker for us. Taking the line out, Clarkie. And now we see Collier running up over halfway. And Collier, Collier wins the race. He caught them napping. The USA, they were asleep. Yeah, well, Dylan, we, we sometimes call him the closet professional. So he, uh, he didn't say much some days, but if you watch him closely, the way he goes about his preparation and his, his game, you know, he's got a real consistency to how he prepares, which then shows the way he plays. So, as I say, we, we expect Dylan to keep getting better. He's, you know, he's probably coming in towards his prime of his career, and he's becoming a real leader in the group. As I say, he's a, he's a quiet leader, but you know, if the boys follow his actions, it's, um, it's a good place to start. Glorious weekend here in London, New stuff. Dummies off the base of the scrum and carries it. 80, 80 metres for the number eight. So again, Stubbs is maturing nicely. He's, um, you know, he's third year in the team, or fourth season's coming up. Uh, he's become a genuine playmaker in the team. You know, he's a top point scorer in the world last season, and he's really just starting to come into his own. You know, he, he didn't have a huge amount of um, training age behind him when he first came into the team, but now he's able to cope with the demands international sevens. He's able to really lead on the field, and you know, he's a really exciting attacking player for us. So everybody. Everybody's focusing on July, but you know we've learnt from the last uh, Olympic campaign that the sun comes up the day after, win, lose or draw. So it's important we start looking to the future as well as the here and now. So we see these three players as the future. You know they'll they'll take the you know the team on and transition us through towards the next pinnacle events in 2022.